In this video, I want to see what a table of data looks like, a two-way table, when there is no association between the two variables. So here we have a partially filled in table about gender and preferred type of snack. We want to know if there is an association between gender and preferred type of snack. Now specifically, we want to fill in the table so that there's no association between gender and preferred type of snack. Now, when we think about which one of these we would use as the explanatory variable, it makes a whole lot more sense to say that choice of snack might differ according to gender more than gender might differ according to type of snack. Okay, so basically um, males and females might prefer different types of snacks. So I'm going to look at this as my explanatory variable, the gender as my explanatory variable, and the preferred type of snack is my response variable. So I always want to compare um, distributions within the explanatory variable for the response variable. Okay, so I want to compare the distribution of male and female um, preferences of snack to the total distributions of type of snack. We learned in a previous video that if there is no association between two variables in a two-way table, that the conditional distributions should equal the marginal distribution. So I'm going to start by calculating the marginal distribution for type of snack. So what percent of people in general, not male or female, prefer salty snacks? So we have 110 out of 500. That turns out to be 22%. Um, so this is salty. What percent prefer sweet? 390 out of 500, or 78%. So in general, people prefer sweet to salty. Now the question is, uh, we, uh, we want to know, we would like to, to put in numbers for male and female so that um, the percentages match. So basically what we're saying is we want 22% of all the males and 22% of all the females to prefer salty snacks and 78% of males and females to prefer sweet snacks. So in other words, for the conditional, we need to have 22% of all of the males, so 22% of 400, which is equal to 88, and 22% of the 100, which is equal to 22, for the salty and uh, the salty snacks for male and female, then we would need 78% um, of 400 and 78% of 100 for the sweet. Okay, so these are the salty and the sweet. Now I could just I can calculate these, or I can actually subtract from the total. So I already know if this is 22, for example, and there's a total of 100, that's going to have to be 78. 78% of 400 turns out to be 312. Um, now, that wouldn't be as obvious, but I know if I take 400 minus 88, I get 312. Okay, so 312. Now, this has to add up 88 plus 22. 80 plus 20 is 100. 8 plus 2 is another 10, so there's 110. 312 plus 78 turns out to be 390, so everything adds up nicely. So this is what the table would look like if there was no association between gender and preferred type of snack. So what would the segmented bar graph look like if there was no association? So if we make a segmented bar, uh, bar graph for snack choice with male and female as our explanatory variables, then we're going to put our bars going 1 through 100, or going to 100. I'm just going to do it by 25%. So here's 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Okay, I'm going to make a bar for female, a bar for male, divide it into sweet and salty. So I'll use my, so I'll do salty first because that was first in the list. So salty, we'll do some hash marks and sweet, we'll do some dots, and so salty percent for both is 22. Sweet percent for both is whatever's left over, which is the 
So notice the bar graphs look exactly the same. The segment of bar graphs look exactly the same if there's no association between the variables.